Uh, thanks very much. Uh, I just wanted to follow up on my little bite-sized examination of Noah's motivation uh, and his intended destination in the cycle ride uh, on his fateful trip at 5.30 on the 21st of June. I want to follow up with an examina uh, that examination of the motivation for his walkabout 13 hours earlier when he you know, snuck out of his home at 3.30 uh, a.m., his Fitzroy Avenue apartment, which is the kind of centre uh, of the kind of drug trade in Belfast. There are uh, junkies on the streets and it's it's very messy and it's a difficult area for young people and for young families. But what was he doing leaving at 3.30 in the morning in the rain, wearing t-shirt, shorts, flip-flops and earphones? Where did he go? What material are the police withholding they clearly must have a video compilation of the rest of his trip it's one trips uh, this trip it's one of the most cameraed up places on the planet uh, what are they holding back when are they going to give that compilation what does that show did he meet anybody did he come to harm what happened to his flip-flops what happened to his headphones these are the questions which still remain outstanding but most of all what was his motivation why did he go out for 35 minutes you know, was this a kind of window into his mental health? Um, we know that there was nothing in his internet searches which indicated any kind of motivation for that or his social communication. We know that when he returned, just five minutes later, he did uh, um, uh, text uh, a pal to say uh, Divine Comedy LOL, uh, a reference to uh, Dante's kind of epic Italian poem, shows he's a super bright kid, but this is really deep thinking, still no hint. So the questions about what Noel was doing, why he went out, um, where his headphones and flip-flops are, that remains a complete mystery. But my hint is that the police certainly know more than they're telling for the moment. Uh, we'll catch up on this uh, subject um, later. Thanks very much for listening.